to send you out here. Hey, just hold me, please. Look, you don't have to worry about me. I'm gonna be fine. You're not fine, Jason. Neither am I. Okay, just, uh, just passed out. It's no big deal. Patrick disagrees. Well, they gave me another exam. They didn't find anything wrong. What about the tests? What, no results yet, but it's not going to show anything. But is that your medical opinion, Doctor? I don't, Sam, I don't know why I passed out. Maybe I'm just tired. You know I haven't been sleeping a lot lately. Okay, well, have you told Patrick that? No. No. You are the most frustrating man on earth. I mean, I love you to death, Jason, but... I mean, over the summer you had brain surgery, and then you just crashed your motorcycle, and you have been passing out. I mean, you can't let the doctors help you if you don't tell them your symptoms. I don't have any symptoms. You haven't? <laughs> you haven't been sleeping. You're going into fits of anger, and there's obviously something wrong with your left hand. Uh, the, the whole left hand thing, Patrick said, was probably when I got shot in the shoulder from that. What about when you go still? What do you mean? What do I mean? See, I don't even think you're getting it. There, there, there are these times where for a second or two you just completely drift off and it's like you're not aware of your surroundings. But lately, there are these moments where you completely disconnect. It's very warm. I'm glad we're all here so we can discuss Jason's symptoms. I already went over it with Jason, sir. Well, I would like to talk to Sam as well. Well, I mean, the whole hand thing is, like Patrick said, it might be because I got shot in the shoulder. Right? That's a possible cause, I said, but we're going to check for nerve damage along with everything else. Is tonight the first time you've passed out? Yeah. And what about what happened on New Year's Eve? Well, I mean, I was out for a minute or two when I laid my bike down. Are you sure that it happened after? It couldn't have occurred yeah, while you were... I, was pa I passed out while I was riding my motorcycle, no way. He hasn't been sleeping. I, I just don't need a lot of sleep. Okay, this is why you make an awful patient. We weren't asking how much sleep you need. We were saying how much sleep do you normally get and if there's been any significant change. Okay, I'll answer this. Normally he gets about five or six hours a night, but lately he's been sleeping, what, around three? And I'll wake up in the middle of the night and turn over, he's not there, I'll come downstairs and he's staring out the window. Any headaches, Jason? I already told you no. Well, not any debilitating type of headaches, just mild headaches, any pain, weakness? Uh, ordinary headaches, yes. No weakness. Okay, I'll, I'll say it. Lately, he's been going still. Like, he can't hear me and he doesn't respond. I've seen it. You did that when I was at the PCPD. Remember, you had a spell, you weren't responding to me. I, I could hear you. I was just thinking about something that, you know, I didn't want to talk about. could keep a complete list of Jason's symptoms, keep monitoring him, and let us know if anything No, I don't changes. need to be monitored. Yes, you yeah. do. You have a complete inability to assess your own limitations. So can you stop trying to cover and just do us a favor and cooperate? <laughs> you know, Jason, he's going to do whatever it is that he wants to do. I'm going to take this. See you Oh, you're not mad at me. You mad at me? Actually, I'm impressed with your ability to finesse the truth. I mean, normally you say what's on your mind or you just keep your mouth shut. Just so you know, I didn't tell Patrick exactly what you're concerned about. Thank you. I know that you do not agree with what I'm doing, but I appreciate you keeping my secret. Now, I'm gonna tell you a secret. Sam is terrified for you. So can you please do anything you can to reassure her? Don't take any risks that you don't have to. At least until we know what's going on with you medically. Got the test results. I was hoping for a little bit more than inconclusive. I ran them twice. I checked the markers for any significant anomaly. You can see for yourself it isn't there. No visible patterns, no clear cause for... I already know swings. the cause. It's got nothing to do with medicine. So inconclusive, that's good, right? I mean, if there was something wrong, the test would have shown up. Inconclusive is inconclusive. It means we need to run more tests. The car is ready to take you to the airport, Dr. Scorpio. Thank you. I'll be right there. I got to check in with the nurse. I'll uh, walk you out when I'm done. OK. okay. Patrick needs to run more tests. Do not give him grief. Just let them do it, OK? Hey, I don't want you to worry about me. And I'm sure you're gonna find exactly what you're looking for. <laughs> Certainly hope so. I see. Bye. 
So you're going to be a good patient and do what Petra tells you, right? I don't need my test, Sam. I know why I'm angry, and so do you. Where's Robin going anyway? She's going to Africa. Look, I don't want you to worry about the stupid tests, okay? I'm going to take them and do whatever Patrick tells me to do. There's something I need to tell you. We need to talk about right, something. Hold on, hold on. Let me just go tie up some loose ends so I'm not distracted because I want to give you my full attention and when you sit down at home, I'm going to, I'm going to talk, okay? Okay. Sam. Yeah. What's going on? About what we discussed. Until we find out what's really going on with Jason's mood swings, it's very important that he doesn't get into any situation where he gets triggered with anger, right? I need your help on this. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll do what I can. Okay. Yeah. I'll check in with you later. Dr. Frank Dr. Frank So you need to make yourself available for any further testing. I already told everyone, Sam, I would cooperate. Okay, well, your definition of cooperation is probably a little bit different than mine, so your job and everything else, that takes second here. This isn't something you can just grit your teeth and ignore. Got it. Okay. Spinelli. I changed my mind. I want you to find Franco now. Gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, they sure are. My daughter's right there on the left. She's an angel. What's her name? Bella. I know it's a little cliche, but it means beautiful. I think it's perfect. Do you have any kids? Not yet, no. That was my first. I didn't understand until I held her. Having a child is the most incredible thing you can experience. Congratulations. 